Today we are reviewing the Research Field Division clothing line by Super 73. As you know, I am a big fan of Super 73. I am not a professional clothing reviewer, but I was approached by Super 73 marketing team to review the jackets. I like the look of the jackets a lot, so I took the offer. I was asked to be honest and transparent with my feedback. This is not a sponsored review, so we will talk honestly about the good and the bad things of the merchandise. I didn't want to make the review right away. It's been raining a lot in LA lately, and I wanted to test the limits of the jackets to get the best feedback as possible. I've been wearing every single jacket for about a month now, and this is what I think of them. Let's start with the Hoon jersey. Very light but very durable material. It feels like very good quality, although one of the biggest drawbacks is that it's $80, and I feel like I'd rather invest that money into one of the jackets. The front of the jersey has a Super 73 logo, and right below it are the coordinates to the headquarters of Super 73. Although I do like the logo in the front of the jersey, I feel like the design of the front of the shirt is a little too busy. One of my favorite designs of the jersey is that the Super 73 logo is imprinted on the left and the right side of the arm. The look of the material looks like this really interesting beehive. I think it's kind of unique, and also there's something about the 73 that makes it look really cool. On one of the arms, we see the Research Field Division, which is a nice touch. And one of the biggest pros, and also one of the biggest cons, is that it comes with this really neat little pocket on the side sleeve. Although it is nice to have a pocket on your shirt, I gotta say it's a little bit hard to open with one hand. The cool little thing about this pocket is you can put your keys, your wallet, and the zipper is of course waterproof, just like the jersey. Speaking of the zippers, all the Super 73 jackets come with YKK zippers, as well as all the pockets and zippers come with a water resistant sealant, so no water will leak inside of your jacket or pocket. Moving on to my favorite piece, the Chisel Hooded Jacket. Now I gotta say, this is one of my favorite jackets, and it's made out of really good quality denim, which is a little bit more elastic than other denims. It has a really nice premium look, and of course it comes with a hood that is completely removable with a zipper. On the back of the hood it says Super 73 very subtly, which I really like because it has a very minimal look, although it is not as reflective as I thought it would be. It also comes with a Super 73 logo very subtly on the upper pocket, and is reflective too. The thing I really like about this jacket is you can remove the hood, and you can wear a different type of hood underneath. On the right arm it comes with a patch, which is a Super 73 patch that I really like, but you can really put any type of patch there that you like. This jacket comes with a ton of pockets. Two upper chest pockets, one inside a pocket, and two giant pockets inside of the jacket. The pockets are so big, you can literally put your phone, mask, anything you want inside. The only con about the pockets is that they're a little bit small, so if you're wearing gloves, it is gonna be a little bit harder to put your hand inside of it. I also must note that this jacket is water resistant and water repellent, just like all the other jackets. Moving on to the Anvil Chore Jacket, one of the jackets with the most pockets out of all the jackets. This traditional moto style jacket actually has a really cool look to it. It is made out of the same material as the Chinsel Hooded Jacket and also has the same color. This jacket comes with zippers and buttons. As I said, it comes with a ton of pockets, two front pockets, one sleeve pocket, two hand pockets, one inner pocket, and two inner side giant pockets. It has a Super 73 logo imprinted on the left side of the arm, which is also reflective. I really like the look of this jacket and I like the small little design details, such as the orange tag. It also has a very small and subtle logo on the back of the jacket, which is also reflective. Unlike the really high quality zippers, there's something about the little buttons on the jacket that don't quite work. One of them popped off, and although it is an easy fix, it is kind of frustrating that it just popped off very easily. This one is also water resistant, but the thing is that this one retains the water on your jacket a little bit more. When it drizzles on here, you can still like, like you know, kick it off your, your sleeves, but I wouldn't recommend this one for like heavy rain, but definitely, Definitely helps for like light rain like right now. Up next, we have the Royce Harrington jacket. This one, unlike the other ones, is a little bit warmer to wear in cold weather. I really like the color of this jacket. And unlike the other jackets, it has a cool little feature that works really well for vloggers and people who like to post on Instagram and TikTok. On the back of the jacket, it has one of my favorite logos. It's across a jacket with a reflective pattern. Also, unlike the other jackets, it has a button and a zipper pocket for your two hand pockets. 
again, it has the same problem as the other ones, which is if you have gloves on, it will be hard to put your hand in the pocket. On to the very cool feature of this pocket, which is it has a foam pocket where you can put your phone in the pocket and record everything as you're writing. The only problem is that the button also popped out on this one, so there must be something off with the stitching. But besides that, everything else worked really well. Another thing I wanted to mention about this jacket is that it has these elastic cuffs. Although they're very comfortable, if you're wearing Velcro on your gloves, it could rip apart the fabric really easily, and over time, it could get ruined. This elastic fabric pattern is also on the bottom of the jacket, but again, will decrease the lifetime of the jacket over time. I should mention that these jackets run a little bit small, so if you like to wear fitted clothes, I would recommend going one size up. Hey guys, as you can see, it's raining nonstop. Uh, I'm outside here, I'm actually getting a little wet. You can see the, the drops are just falling right off my jacket. Pretty sick. So yeah, so it looks like it's working uh, for all jackets, uh, including this one, it's just coming right off. It's really nice, it's keeping me dry and uh, it really looks really nice. Up next, we have the Sipes Varsity Jacket. This is the jacket I definitely recommend you to wear if you live in a cold place. Unfortunately, LA is a little too warm for this type of jacket. But still, some nights I like to wear this jacket when it gets pretty cold. This is definitely the jacket I would wear on cold rides in the winter. I wasn't a huge fan of the colors, but it kind of grew on me as I wore them with time. Just like the Royce Harrington jacket, this one has hand pockets that are buttoned up with zippers as well. The logo is right where the pocket is, which is kind of neat. Right above the right hand pocket, there's also a little pocket above that. Just like the Royce Harrington jacket, this one has the same logo, but it's across the arm and also is reflective as well. This is the only jacket with two front zippers, so you can unzip it and rezip it from below and above. And of course, it has the trademark inside pocket. This is also the only jacket that has this elastic fabric material right around the neck, which makes it kind of comfortable. As well as the cuffs and below the jacket, it has this elastic fabric material, just like the Royce Harrington. Again, the only problem with this type of material is that over time, the quality will degrade. The Veil Packable Anorak. This has to be one of my favorite Super 73 jackets. Not only I love the color, but I also love the design of this jacket. It's also extremely waterproof, and it's easy to fold and unfold from any backpack or pack. As soon as you put it on, there's a little zipper on the side, and it's really easy to close by zipping down the zipper. There's also a giant pocket in the back, right below the Super 73 logo. It's also the only jacket where you can put your thumb through this little hole, and it will prevent any water from going down your arm. There's also these really cool two pockets on the front, along with the subtle design of the Super 73 headquarters coordinates, with, of course, the Super 73 logo on the right side of the chest. The jacket is also designed with these little strings where you can pull to adjust the size of the hood. It is extremely light and it's also extremely high vis. Unfortunately, this jacket doesn't keep you warm, but it makes up by actually being extremely high visible, which is really useful if you want to ride safely. I gotta say, for Super 73's first time designing jackets, I gotta give it to them. They did a great job designing these jackets and put in the work into the quality and the look of the designs of these jackets. I wanna thank my friend Tom Suzuki and my friend Jose, also known as Camerista, for helping me out with this video. He's been a huge help and he's extremely talented. If you guys wanna check out his photography, check out his Instagram. I also wanna thank Super73 for giving me the opportunity to review these jackets. It is a huge honor and I really appreciate you guys giving me a chance. Thanks again guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And if you guys want to check out the jackets, there's a link down in the description below. Thank you so much guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.